Hello, my dear students. Hello, grade seven. Today, inshallah, and we will make final revision for the geometry for the grade seven for the first term. Let's start. Bismillah. So now, in the beginning of this unit, I will making for you all of you refreshment. What the meaning of the geometric some geometric uh, conception? Now, what the meaning of line segment? <clears throat> so the line segment it's a set of points with starting and ending point. It's look like that, and we can read it as AB the line segment AB or BA the line segment AB or BA. That's it. And for the line segment, I can make it, I can measure it with ruler. So it have length, four centimeter, five centimeter. That's it. Then we take the straight line. And the straight line, it's look like that. Is the name of it, it's the line AB. The line AB. Take a look here. <clears throat> so now for the line AB, it's it's the it's the, the, the definition of it is is a line segment extended from the both direction. It's not stop from the both direction. What that's why it's have an arrow. So this is the line straight line. <clears throat> then this is about the ray. The ray in the line segment, the ray is a line segment extended from one side, extended from one side. And we, we it's having a starting point. So we must reading starting with the starting point. So if I have this ray, it's named the ray A B. Ray A B. What if I have this one? B, then A. Then in this case, it will be the ray B A. And this is the ray I write it small one with the same direction. <coughs> The angles, it's two union of the two straight line having the same starting point. And this same starting point, the name of it is vertex. So this is the vertex. And this two ray, its name of them is the side of angles. Like that. See? So the vertex and the side of angles. And you know, okay, you can see all of these things around you in pizza, in corners of the windows, in the chairs, in many items around you. And also you can see the ray in the lamp, in the sun, and so on. Now we will talk about the type of angles and we can play these types with my mom and dad in home. So now the first one is the zero angle, which is the measure of it is zero degree. Then the acute angle, acute angle, it's very small. So it's greater than zero and less than 90. Greater than zero and less than 90. Right angle, right angle, it's exactly 90. Then I will have the obtuse angle. It's a little bit open, but not straight. So it's greater than 90 and less than 180. After that, I have the straight line angle, which is exactly 180 because it's a straight line. And then the obtuse angle is a reflex angle. And the reflex angle, it's the measure of it is greater than 180 and less than 360. Before I leave this slide, I want you to remember all the time, the angle plus its reflex all the time. Equal 360. Okay. Let's solve these questions together. Now, <clears throat> the angle whose measure is 25, it's from the type, which one is greater than zero and less than 190? It's an acute angle. Very good. Accurate. The angle whose measurement is 179 degree. And what is this? This is minute, and every degree equal sixty minutes. So can I can divide this sixty by sixty? I will get one degree, and that meaning one seventy nine 
plus this one degree, I find it, it will be 180. Oh, what is the type of this one? It's a straight angle. Perfect. Remember, since second, I tell you what, the angle and its reflex, it must be 360. So measurement of angle B plus the reflex of angle B must be 360. So now to get this one, I must make 360 minus 160. I will get huh, 200, super, 200 degree. Now let's talk about the adjacent angles. If I have two adjacent angles, I can say they are adjacent if these two conditions are fine. Common side and common vertex. So this is common vertex and this is common side. And the outsider is not belong to on the other way, the opposite side of the common side. Next, I have the complementary angles. Complementary angles. This is the two angles which the addition of them equal 90 or the sum of them equal 90 degree. So if I get angles with two angles, if I'm adding them, give me a 90, the name of it is complementary angles. Complementary angles. Now, it you complete. The angle of major 40 complements. So when you see the word complements directly, both underline and both 90 degree, then make 90 minus this 40, you will get 50. The acute angle complement which type of angles? To can think good if I don't remember or I can imagine. So by the way, I prefer to draw. So let's draw an acute angle. This is acute angle. Let's say this acute angle may be 40. Complements, it's meaning 90. So how I can make 40 to be 90? It's need 50. So this 50 degree, what type of this 50? It's also acute. See, it's easy. Okay, zero angle, zero angle, zero angle. So that's meaning I don't have anything. It's nothing. It's zero degree. It's complement, meaning it's to be 90. So zero to be 90, it's need what to be 90? It's need 90 also. So also right angle. The two supplementary angles, supplementary angle. <clears throat> to say that I have two supplementary angle, they must be the adding of them or the sum of them equal 180. So because I have here 110 plus 70 give me 180, that's meaning they are supplementary angle. Now, let's see these questions. The angles whose measure is 80 degree supplement. So I must put underline to supplement and write 180 of the measure. So 180 minus this 80. I will get 100 degree. If we take a look in the measure, this is acute and this is obtuse. Let's see the next question. The obtuse angle supplement acute angle. So this is acute and this is obtuse. Let's write it good. Let's see the next. <clears throat> the two vertically opposite angle. If I have two vertically opposite angles, that's meaning I have two line intersecting together in one point and I get two vertically opposite angles. They are opposite each other, so they are equally measured. So this angle equal this angle and this one equal this one. So let's read the angles. If I want to read angles, I must read it by three letters, the vertex in the middle. So. I can say measurement of angle AMC <clears throat> AMC equal to the measurement of angle BMD BMD. Also, I can say 
the, the measurement of angle AMD equal to the measurement of angle CMB. Now, let's solve these questions. The angle whose measurement is, is 46 degree, vertically opposite to angle whose measure, we tell that before since second, they are equal measure. So the same angle, 46 degree. The right angle is vertical opposite angle to right angle also. Because they are equal in measure. The two angles, let's see, this is here about this figure. The two angles, AMD, AMD, and BMC. So I will draw it for you here. Maybe I am I'm lose my, my painting. I will draw one for you. This is two straight line. Now I have the angle A, M, D. This is M, the intercepting point. And this is B, and this is C. What the call, what the name of these two, these two vertically, so V, O, A. So it have a symbol V, O, A, which is vertically opposite angle. The accumulative angles. Accumulative angles, these angles are having the same starting point and they are meeting in one point. Like this, like this figure. So AMB and BMC and CMD and DMA, all of them having the starting point or the vertex M. So if you take a look here, what I'm doing here, circle. So the sum of all of these angles equals 360 because it's the same as circle. So now, how we can get the measurement of angle CMD? CMD, this one. Since second, I tell that, the accumulative, which are meeting in one point, all of them making circle. So that's meaning, I would say for him, 360 minus the sum of 130, the given angles, plus... 50 degree plus 75. Then I will get 360 minus 180 plus 75. I will get 552. So 255. That's meaning I will get 5, then 0, 1. Degree, we'll not forget the degrees. Very good. The bisector of the angles, the bisector from its name, bisector divided the shape or the angles in two equal pieces. So everyone, it will be half the measure. So this is the ray divided the angle in two halves. So this half equals this half. Let's go to this figure and try to solve the equations. But first, please, my dear student, you must read the question very well. If B belongs to the straight line AC, then the measurement of angle DBC, DBC is 135. And the ray BA bisecting the angle D. B E D B E. So this angle must be equal to this angle. In the beginning, find the measurement of angle A B D. So easy. How we can get the angle A B D? This is a straight line. So all of this is 180 minus 135. I will get it. So 180 minus 135. I will get uh, 45. So this one, it will be 45. 
I will change the color of pen. Yeah, so this one, it will be 45. And because he tell me the ray, BA is bisecting the angle BDE, that's meaning also this one, 45. They are equal. So the angle DBE equal all of this. I will add both of them to give me 90. So 45 plus 45 will give me 90 degree. But the type of 90 is right angle. Now, the measurement of angle CBE, CBE. Now, because this one equal this one, so is immediately you will know that 135 equal 135. So it will be equal 135 degree. Now, we will talk about the congruence. Congruence meaning that it must be the same as. So my left hand is congruence on my right hand. Also, when I can say these two line segments are congruent, if they have the same length. So if this line segment, the length of it is two centimeter. So if the other one also equal two centimeter, so that's meaning they are congruent because they are equal in length. By the same way, the two angles that will be congruent if they are equal in measure. So this angle equal 110 and this angle equal 110. That's meaning these two angles are congruent. What the, what's the meaning of congruence of two polygons? Polygons, its shape, contain many sides and angles. So to say that's two congruence and they are congruent, so all the all the side, all the side in the first shape, this is first shape, equal its corresponding side in the second shape. What the meaning of corresponding? So BE is corresponding to CE, and BR is corresponding to CH, and RA corresponding to HO, and so on. And also, not only the sides, also the angles. The measurement of angle O equal its corresponding angle A. And this is happening for all the angles and all the sides. So the corresponding sides are equal in length and the corresponding angles are equal in measure. Now, sometime he tell me, I need you to complete this question. So I will complete it with you. P corresponding, I will go to B. Where is B? There is B. So I'll try to find the corresponding one. It will be R. Then the polygon plaque, P-L-A-K. So I need to know the direction. B-L-A-K. So he, he do it anti-clockwise. So I must start from R and do it anti-clockwise also to tell him the name for the other polygon. So it will be R-O-H-E. Yes. Then he asking me for the length for KB. KB. So this is KB. The corresponding side for KB is SR, which is uh, uh, four centimeter. The measurement of angle E. This is E. Equal the measurement of angle what C. Measurement of angle A. Equal the measurement of angle H. CA equal HE, because this is the corresponding side for it, equal 5 centimeter. Then we will talk about the congruence of triangle. I'll have four cases. The first case, which is side angle side. Two sides included between them angles. And I tell you in the session, look like the nutcrackers. It's look like the nutcrackers. So the two side between them angles. Now, I want you to, to know how I can write this one. But before I will solve with you these questions. The triangle ABC, I will read it first. AB equal AD and BC equal seven centimeter. Then the measurement of angle B equal 30 degree and the measurement of angle DAC equal 25. Now, 
he tell me that to complete the angle, the triangle, A, B, C, A, B, C. Congruent, which one? He tell me A, B, C. So he's starting from A, going to B, then C. I'll start with the same direction. A, going to D, then C. Sorry, C, then D. A, C, D, and A, C, B. The measurement of angle D equal which angle is corresponding to D? It is B, which is equal 30 degree. CD corresponding which side? Corresponding CB. So it's equal 7 centimeter. Now, the second case is angle side angle, look like the tray. Angle side angle, two hands and between them side. Tray, angle side angle. So now, in the opposite figure, AB equal AC and AC equal BD. So now I have AB, AB equal to the DC. So this length equal this length. And AC equal DB. Then the measurement of angle A equal 30. And the measurement complete. The triangle ABC, ABC, congruent ABC, see going like that. DCB. I'll change the color. Measurement of angle D equal measurement of angle A equal 30 degree. Measurement of angle D, B, C. D, B, C, D, B, C, this one. Equal to measurement, to which, which one is corresponding? A, C, B. A, A, C, B. Third case, which is side, side, side. Now I I'm I'm now I need to teach you how you write the proving for the congruent two triangle. If A he tell me here in this figure, A B equal A C and B D equal C D. Variety that A B A D is bisector. To the angle A. So he need for me to brief for him that these two angles are equal. Then I will tell him that AD is bisector. Let's do it. In the beginning, I need to make congruent for these two triangle. So to write the proof, I will write for him in the triangle ABD, Comma, because I didn't know yet or didn't prove yet they are congruent, so comma. Then ADC, ACD, sorry, the same direction, ACD. Then I must make big bracket. I, I, I should find three reasons to tell him that they are congruent. First, I have AC equal AB. Hey, tell me. Then BD equals CD. And I have AD is a common side. Then that's meaning the triangle ABD congruent. That's meaning three dash on each other. 
to triangle ACD. Then I will find the measurement of angle CAD equal the measurement of angle BAD. And that's meaning AD is a bisector. fourth case it's RHS the meaning right angle hypotenuse side right angle hypotenuse side before I'm going to this question I need you to remember what is the meaning of hypotenuse or to know the meaning of hypotenuse this is the right angle if I have right angle like that A B C so the hypotenuse in this case it will be this one the larger side in front of the right angle triangle. So if you go direct from this angles, right angle, you will get the hypotenuse. So I need this hypotenuse and I give it symbol H to get the congruence. And this is S for side and this is R for right angle. Okay. In the first figure, find the two tone congruent triangle. Like the usual, I will tell him in the triangle A, B, D, comma, triangle A, B, C, it's so clear here that angle C equal angle D equal 90 degree. Then I will try to find the hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse, which is common side. So I have here AB is common hypotenuse then I have the side AC equal to the DB then I will name the two triangle ABD congruent with A, B, C with case R, H, S. Now we will go to the parallels. What the meaning of parallel? Parallel, that's meaning these two lines never meet. So if I tell you now, if I tell you now that the straight line L1 L1 parallel to L2, that's meaning L1 intersecting with L2 and give me phi. So every two alternate angles, it will be equal in measure and every two corresponding angles equal in measure and every two interior angles equal in measure. Let me explain for you slowly to understand what the meaning of all these words. Now, if I have the line L and the line M, they are parallel. And N is transversal. It's cutting both of them. So N is transversal. Then I will get that. Yeah, constrain with me, please. Very good. Letter Z. Letter Z. So this letter Z, it's meaning that I have angle 4 equal angle 6 because they are alternate angle. L alternate angle. So angle 4 and angle 6 equal both each other.
Okay. Now I will make with a highlight, but I will change the color. Another shape. Letter F. See letter F. So letter F, it's meaning two corresponding angles. So angle four, angle eight, four and eight, they are equal because they are corresponding angles. Angle four equal angle eight. Let's do the last one. Letter U or letter C as you like. So from inside, I find lit angle three and angle six, both together give me 180 because they are interior angle supplementary. You remember the word supplementary? 180. Okay. Let's see now some example of this interior and corresponding and alternate. Let's see together number one. I have here two straight line parallel and there is a straight line AC. This is the transversal. Then he asking you for the measurement of angle ACD. Let's see what is ACD. ACD. So this is ACD. Okay, they are making letter C, what's meaning they are interior, yani 180 minus 62, what I will get? 10 minus 2 equal 8, 7 minus 6 equal 1, 180. Let's see number 2, ACD. See what is ACD? This is ACD. Okay, I have what? Huh? It's a letter Z, which is alternate angle. So measurement of angle ACD equal three letters. BAC equal what? 70 degree. Let's see the third one. ACD, what is ACD this time? ACD. That's it, ACD. Oh, it's so clear what I have. Letter F, which is meaning if they are corresponding. So ACD equal EAB equal EAB equal 120 because they are corresponding angles. Let's solve this two question. This question. He tell me here that XO parallel to the ZY and XY parallel to the LZ, the measurement of angle, uh, sorry, then M belong to the ZY, ray ZY. Then find the measurement of angle X, let's put question mark, and angle Z, and angle L. So easy. First angle X, what you expect, what you find here, very good, alternate. So I will tell him now equal measurement of angle X, Y, M equal 100 degree alternate. Then measure of Z, if you take a look, I'll change the color to be more clear. Aha, uh -huh. it is F. So measurement Z equal measurement of X, Y, M. Also equal 100 degree, but in this case, they are corresponding. This one, angle L. So, if you take a look here, you have letter U. So this one, since minute, we take it 100. So this one is 100 now. And this is together must give me 180 because they are interior. So it will be 180 minus 100. 
I will get 80 degree because they are interior. Another question. In the opposite figure, I have CD parallel to the AB. And DE is parallel to the CB, the measurement of angle X. First, I, I have letter Z so clear. So this one, it will be also 3X. So I'll tell him. Because you tell me that AB, not AB, BA, because the starting point, it's ray. BA parallel to the CD. And CB is transversal. Then major angle B equal to the measurement angle C equal 3X with the same way since that you tell me that DE parallel to the CB then I have 3X plus X equal 180. The first one because they are alternate the second one because they are interior. So this one have a heading coefficient, remember in algebra. So I will add three plus one, I will get four X equal 180. Then I'll divide by four, both sides. This is will give me X equal 45 degree. So X here is 45 degree. What about this question? For here, I have OA parallel to the HD parallel to the YX parallel to the CB and AD, AD equal DX equal XP. And he told me the length of AC, all of this equal 18 centimeter. Now, he asking me to find the length of AY. To get the length of AY, because I teach here before, if I have the distance between this parallel line are equal, it will be equal for any other transversal. So AC is the second transversal for these lines. So this meaning I have all these lines are equals. So I will divide by 18 by three. So that's meaning AB. So I have here AH equal to the HY equal to the YC equal 18 over three, which is equal six centimeter. So every B is equal six centimeter. And he asking me for only these two AY, then AY equal six plus six or six by two equal 12 centimeter. Now, for geometric construction, I will go to the program, which his name is open board and make with you one by one. Okay, for doing the geometry construction in the beginning, I have some of them is very important and some of them I'm doing it quickly. So now, in this one, first one, I need to constructing a perpendicular from a point outside the straight line. So if I have this straight line, Then I have this point outside.
if I want to make an constructing to draw in a perpendicular on this one, in the beginning, I will take the combos and put it on the point outside and try to be straight directly, like perpendicular, to going down under the line a little bit. Then I'll try to make arc, cut this straight line in two points, like that. Then I will take my combos and with the same length of this one, I will take it from here, from the first intercepting point. And now I'll draw arc from down and the other one from, right, from the other side. So intercepting with the arc together, these two arc to arc bisecting. Now I will connect these two points together, then I will get a perpendicular on the straight line. How I can be sure? I'll bring my protractor, then I will make a measurement for this angle. I will get it 90 deg deg degree exactly. That's meaning I'm drawing an a perpendicular on a straight line from the point outside. And also, when you make any construction, please don't raise the arcs. Second, draw a perpendicular straight line passing through a point belong to this straight line. So that's meaning I have a straight line. And this straight line belong to it in a point, let's say it's A. So now. I'll pick my combos. I will be on A. Then I'll try to open it medium size. Then I'll draw arc from left and right, like that. Then I will take my arc, my combos, and I will put it on the first intercepting point. In this case, I'll draw arc from up and from the other side with the same thing, like that. They will be meeting, I will make it from the other side. That's it, they are meeting. Then I'll take my ruler and join the point A Exactly. Then I'll draw perpendicular by the same way, how I can be sure with perpendicular. It's 90 exactly. See? Okay. After that, I will get to the third one, which bisecting a line segment when the same meaning of the axis symmetry. Now, if I have line segment, and you know that line segment have a length. So let's say I have line segment with 12 centimeter. So if I need to bisect 12 centimeter, that's meaning every one, it will be six, six centimeter because bisecting 12 by two, it give me six. I'll bring my combos. Then I will open more than half, like that. Then I will go up and down, making arc up and down, like that. From the other side with the same length of the combos, be sure all the time that your combos in the same length. Now I'm done. So I'm remove the combos. Then I will join these two intercepting point with arcs together.
Yeah, we'll use the ruler better. So I'll put it like that. Yeah. That's it. Then how I can be sure that I'm bisect my line segment? You remember it's 12 centimeter. So everyone, it will be six. I will be sure that I was starting from zero from this point. Then I will go to find the length. Okay, if you see, I will make it be more bigger. It's exactly six centimeters. Starting from zero to here, it's six centimeters. Okay, this is so clear. Ah, okay, this one, six centimeters. Now let's complete. Fourth, how I can bisect angles. How I can bisect angles by using protractor. Now, in the in the in the exam, he will give you angles, or he can asking you to draw angles. So we'll draw angles normally. Ray. Then bring your protractor. Let's say I'll draw angle with 70 degree. Okay, to draw angle by using protractor, you must be very exactly now this one, the middle on the retractor in the, exactly on the vertex, then start the zero from the, to be exactly on the ray, then start from zero to 70. Then what mark? After that, I will remove my items. I will draw with my ruler the ray. Now I'm drawing the angles. It's time to make bisecting by using the compass. So I'll take the compass and open it medium open, not big, not small. Then I will put the compass on the vertex. Then go out, then make arc, cut the two sides of the angles like that. With the same length of the arc of the compass, go inside the first point intercepting. Put your compass and draw from inside arc and from the other side but the same way. Then join these two together. It will be bisecting. So everyone it must be 35. Next, how I can draw an angle congruent to other angle. This is, oh yeah, parallel. How I can draw two parallel lines? If I have now this line and any bond outside this line, and I need to draw an parallel line to this line. So let's say this is L line. This is L. So now, first I will join A to intercepting the line L in a point. So let's say this is the angle. So I'll try to draw here angle, same this one, to be corresponding. So first I'll bring my compass, then I'll open it suitable open. Then I'll draw arc here with the same open, don't change anything. Go to the point A and draw arc, cut the ray. Okay, for me, I will make this ray more, more tall. That's it. Then the important step here to measure and open the compass this distance, this distance. Then take your compass and put it here. Then draw arc, cut the first one in point like that. 
If they are not meeting, you can make it meet. So now I'll go here, then I'll make it red. They are meeting. Now I'm finished. What I will do now, I'll take my ruler and connect the point A with the intercepting point together. Then I will get two parallel line. Two parallel line. In the end, how I can draw two congruent? We're drawing this one. So one second. I think we missed someone. No, I won't be sure. Okay. I'm drawing all. Ah, this one. How to construct the no, 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 no. Okay, that's all. So I hope for you all the best and good luck. Um hopefully to see you at um, best wishes. Thank you very much. Bye bye.